Let's, Let's try this, this machine. again. Hopefully it doesn't break this time. Yeah, the last machine totally broke. This one hopefully will not. We have to do this puzzle again. Okay, so it was bottom left, bottom right. No, bottom left, upper right. Okay, it's a different combination each time. That's weird. I wonder why that's the case. So press the four buttons in the proper order. And let's see, will that actually work on this machine? Where's that switch? Good evening, S32. Printing access card, please stand by. Wait, is this gonna be the card that opens up that really large door inside the waiting room? Is that what this does? Interesting. Let's see, will it work? Like it's printing anything, it looks like it's just attacking the ring. What? Is this some sort of weird form of 3D printing? I think it might be actually. <laughs> this is so strange. Yep, it's definitely an access card for that large it door. It was about the same size and shape as a bar of chocolate. Of course! It has the same logo as the giant metal door. This must open it. Obviously. Okay, well, great. We've, we've got that figured out. So I guess now we need to go back to that area. Once we finish ex ex examining the sphere. Gotta see what this, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to fall there. Yeah, I didn't mean to fall down. I didn't mean to fall there. Climb again, Jenny. Climb, climb some more. Okay, let's use this machine. Please enter authorization code to begin. Ooh, I don't have an authorization code. So previously, they've just been on pieces of paper, which are tucked in the corner behind some wires. Let's see if we can find one. Yep, it's gotta be here then. Another blank piece of paper. Let's yes. see if we can jog your memory. Yes. Feels like we're making major progress. For last time, it's called a secret code for a reason. I made it your birthday. Zero, seven, one, nine. Thank goodness this guy wrote down all the codes. Otherwise, I'd be trapped here forever. Yeah, imagine if a child somehow got in here and started running all the machines. What terrible craziness would happen then? Well, it'd be a lot like what's happening now. Jenny's starting these machines. She has no idea what they do. I'm just gonna run these machines. I don't know what they're gonna do. Is this a death machine? Eh, I don't know. Maybe it's just an access card. Please enter paper. authorization code to begin. 0719. Code accepted. System authorized and on for activation. Let's do it. Let's see what this one does. So let's see, one move statues. The other made rocks fly. Let's see what this third one does. Preparing to run experiment 15. Please stand by. Jeez. Maybe 
this was a terrible idea. Maybe I should have just gone back to the uh, waiting room. Jenny didn't know what she'd started, but she'd have to stop it before the whole laboratory came crashing down. How? Push it back up, Jenny. Is that how the miners died? No, it was the sphere before or after the miners died? Experiment 15 aborted. Operation unsuccessful. Data set incomplete. What just happened? I thought it was going to die. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please take your mandatory 15-minute smoking break. So it makes me wonder... Decompressing spherical chamber. If this is one of those experiments where it's like, we can't do the experiment. We can't do the experiment 100% of the way through. That's clear. But what if... What if we did the experiment, like, half of the way through and did it twice or maybe three or four times? Would that be enough? Would that give us enough of a data set? Check this page. Welcome, employee something. You can now decode and decode messages. Extra layer of ob obfuscation. That means uh, making something really hard to understand. As long as the key page is destroyed, the message is hidden. So you need to remember the key page. Set it on fire. Or, or burn it. And enjoy years of secret ciphers. Radio communications, secure frequencies, should be only be used in case of emergency. Secure tube network. Uh huh. So key index, the story pages. Ah, here we go. This is how it works. So uh, if it's this story, it's just the first letter of the word. If it's this story, it's the first two letters of the word. This story, last letter of the word, last two letters of the word, and last three letters of the word. So, for example, secret. The word secret would be all of those together. Messages should be brief as possible because it's a really long, complicated message. When possible, choose keywords that form coherent sentences. So that way somebody will be fooled. They'll think all those words together are the secret message when it's really a different one. And you can use abbreviations. This is the missing page from the code book. Some the text gave instructions letters and rules for communicating using a special code. That's why the radio broadcast didn't make sense. It was designed to look like a sinister message. But the real message is hidden inside. Um, don't use the same abbreviations over and over and over again. Somebody will probably figure it out then. Yeah. Okay, let's go back. Was right. So what's the real message? Let's do it. Only certain letters from each word are used in the underlying message. And so, Jenny began by finding them. Oh man, this is a lot of work. Okay. Okay, so the first letter of this, okay. See if we can do it. Okay, so the first letter, which which animal am I using? Let's do this. First letter of these sentences, these words. Soon they will all. I guess the magical cake was one that they could not really figure out a really good message for. Yeah. Okay. Next animal. First two letters. Yes. I guess it's technically not animal, I think it's story. Because, well, many of these stories had multiple animals. Okay, last letter. I like it. So, salad wrap. Salad wrap? What? That can't be it. There is. Okay, let's do the final one. Maze. 
will. Still alive. Now all that's left to do is assemble the pieces. Still alive. Trap. Trapped? Still alive. Okay, well, it's still alive at least. I can get that one. Trapped on other side of the maze, maybe? Trapped. On. Other side. Ugh. This is so grim and ominous. Find. Find. Finds or find? Sage Rakula. I don't know what the last one is. Find Caesar? Maybe that's supposed to be Zazer. And then the last one's gonna be HLC. You know, that doesn't make any more sense Still than Magical alive. Cake. Trapped Caesar. on other side. Find Caesar. H. L. C. H. L. C. To most people, these letters would be meaningless. But to Jenny, they were as familiar as her own birthday. What are they? Dad? This message is from you! A fantasy? How could Henry Leclou have sent this message? Henry Leclou was... Still alive! The mere possibility caused Jenny's heart to pound in her chest. They never found his body. We buried an empty coffin. That was true. But what connection did her father have to the Zazer Spheres? Dad worked for Dean Strasbury, and the Dean was involved in all of this. Yeah? Zazer sounds just like Zazer. And if Dad had the codebook, then he knew about the Council of Three. She read the message once more. Trapped on other side. Jenny pulled the freshly printed access card from her pocket and jumped to a hasty conclusion. Very hasty. Other side of that, that door. What if he didn't die? What if they just wanted him out of the picture? What if he's a prisoner, trapped on the other side of the giant metal door? It was a plausible hypothesis, but incredibly far-fetched. And my mom knew all this! That's why they sent the man in black to silence her. Her hands were shaking, her eyes filled with tears. Was our great detective letting emotion overpower logic? Perhaps? No! H-L-C. It can't mean anything else. The message is from my dad. I have to get to Mom before the man in black does. And then we'll go to the underground room, together. We'll rescue my dad, and everything can go back to the way it was. Aww. This was her hope, her longing. But nothing would ever be the same again. Nothing. Wow, that's grim. Okay. Well, let's get out of this sphere. I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, just, I guess what we're supposed to do now is just go back to that large door. I think that's it. I don't think we have any other choice. So let's see if we can navigate this maze in reverse. Climb down here. Ah, oh, those ghosts. almost forgot about you, ghosts. Jenny saw the newly fallen rocks and finally made the connection. All dead. All my fault. The accident in the mines was caused by Caesar's machine. All those men died because of his experiment. And the Council of Three covered it up. Dun, 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 dun. My goodness. So let's see. If I need to push this all the way to the right and then climb over those rocks, that is that gonna be our new way to reach? 
that area. That's what I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah, this definitely seems like the uh, newer, faster way to get there. Good. Ah, crawling. Yeah, and there's that ladder uh, earlier, which was covered by the boulder. So now we can push this boulder out of the way. This is very near the entrance to the mines. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna jump down. No, 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 I'll climb down. I guess that's safer. How do I get out now? What's the side say? To the left, say? squatting grounds. To the right, crystal cavern. Squatting grounds. Does that mean? Yes, it did. Gross. What does that? You know, I have a feeling I don't want to know. Hmm. So this looks like a new area, though. I don't think we've been here before. How do I get back up? No, oh no. Okay, so the maze, we don't go back to the start of the maze. We go to a new part of the maze. Where could this possibly lead? Okay, nothing there. And there goes that flashlight again. Oh, great. Well, we were told that above the Crystal Caves is, is Mom. I thought I was above the Crystal Caves already, but if this is the actual Crystal Caves, then, uh... There's nothing there. It's just your imagination, Jenny. Then this is what we're supposed to do. Okay. I was wrong about where I was, I imagine. Yep, that's got to be it. So this is the Crystal Cave. The area we were in earlier with giant crystals. Not the Crystal Cave. That was actually part of that big sphere. So here's the Crystal Cave. Lead into Mom. I grab Mom, go back through the maze one more time. Hopefully find my way back to that giant door. Then the next time I go through this maze. And there's nothing there. It's just crystals. See? Nothing to worry about. Nothing here at... Ah! Damn it, Susie! You scared the Jeez. life out of me! What do you want? I just saw the cutest little frog. Really? Are you kidding me? I know, right? He's got the cutest little bug eyes. I just want to take him home with me. How's everything going down there? The truth was, Jenny was fit to burst with all the new information she had discovered. But could she trust any of it with Susie Glatz? Yeah, I think she can. I have to tell you something. What is it? Are you okay? Uh, I'll talk about Dad. My dad didn't die in an explosion. Oh, Jenny. You need to say your dad, dad. might not have what died. Do you mean? How did he die then? He didn't die. He's alive. I don't understand. He's trapped in a room under the graveyard. And after I rescue my mom, we are going to find him. You sound crazy, Jenny. Jenny? Are you feeling okay? What? Of course I am. Did you hear what I said? My dad is alive. I'm just worried about you down in those mines. There's some toxic gases down there. I'm not going mad. I didn't say you were. It's just not safe down there. If this entire thing has be been a, a hallucination, you me every five uh, it would be crazy if this entire sphere of plotline was just a big hallucination. That would make me actually very upset. Like, oh, 
End of the game. Guess what? Nothing actually happened. It was a hallucination. We were just messing with you the whole time. <laughs> really got you there. Ooh, that would be an unsatisfying end to, uh... Well, this game and it'd be an unsatisfying end to, uh, this Jenny LeClue book, right? Like, oh, man. Well, uh, on a positive note, maybe the book would get a sequel because so many people would write angry letters wanting to find out what happens next.